the model has a number of different stages. The first stage is where the entrepreneur raises a search fund. Um, what they do is they seek 10 um, experienced business people to put some money into a fund, a relatively small amount, about eight to 10,000, well, in my case, pounds each. Um, that fund is used to pay for their salary and their expenses while they search for a company to buy. Um, once they've found the company, um, then they go back to the same search fund investors and say, please can I have some more um, in order to buy the company? Um, assuming those investors then fund the acquisition, uh, it's then the task of the entrepreneur to grow, develop the business, and subsequently sell the business, achieving a return for the investors and, of course, a return for the entrepreneur as well. We're looking for entrepreneurs that have a passion um, to own and operate businesses. And really, we're looking for them to come to us with some type of story um, where th they can articulate why a certain industry is exciting or why a certain region is compelling. And really, they're coming to us and they're making, they're sort of pitching themselves and they're pitching, you know, an opportunity. We're not really looking for anything um, specific in, in terms of in order to be in order to raise a search fund it's not like you need to check you know three boxes having said that we think business people with a with an MBA um, have gone through a series of filters people with an MBA uh, it, it, they've obviously have some they obviously have a strong academic background they have strong work experience and that's what's enabled them to get the, to get their MBA at a, at a great school um, and that's, you know, I, I think that's a big piece of it, is really that there's, there's that filter there. I wanted to be an equity owning manager, but I wasn't quite sure how to do it. And I was introduced to the concept by someone, um, a, a faculty member, um, decided and tracked down some people who had benefited from it and thought, yes, you know, if ever I'm going to do something like this, now's the time. I spent six, no, seven months um, raising the initial search fund, and I had to fund that myself. Once I had the search fund in place, that paid for my salary and expenses. Um, I looked for a company, came close several times, but didn't actually close a deal. I ran out of money, had to raise more money from the same investors. Um, and that's paid for another year. And then I did find a company to buy. Um, once we bought the company, I became the chief executive of the company. And in essence, we grew the company from 3 million turnover to 30 million turnover um, over a 10 year period and uh, EBITDA we grew from 400,000 to about two and a half million over the same 10 year period, um, selling the company and giving a return to the investors and of course a return to myself. And it's a bit like, a, you know, it is a family um, and because you work with the people over a long period of time, um, you develop a, a close understanding and a trust. Um, and, you know, you also get to know each other on a personal basis in terms of going to people's you know, birthdays and the celebrations and the like. Um, but when it comes back to business, um, it means there are a few nudges along the way. But when you've got a real problem, um, there are a group of people that you can turn to. And the right person will probably depend upon the specific situation. Um, so, you know, if it's a financial crisis, someone who's better at the financial side is the right person to, to talk to. If you've got a, a, a legal problem, chances are one of the group has been with it before. If it's about property, someone may have some property experience. So it really depends very much on the situation you're facing. In the US especially, there's a network of, of investors that know what a search fund is and have had a lot of success investing in search funds. And those investors, for the most part, aren't really swayed typically by big moves in the market. Um, they, they, they probably um, don't do as badly in the bad times, don't do as, as good in, in the good times. And they're going to continue to have capital and they're going to continue to invest in search funds. That's, that's my opinion. I think really it's probably the key for lots of career choices is actually tenacity and drive and the ability to keep going even when lots of things are going against you. Um, just pure determination really, bloody mindedness. And I suppose that's a raw ingredient for any entrepreneur.